The leaders said Kakamega County government should be allowed to revive the struggling factory after several attempts to have it fully operational failed. They said they stand behind the move by Governor Weekly for Paranya to take over the farm and eject those who have been mismanaging the facilities for their selfish gains. That we do support action taken by Governor Oparanya to basically make sure that the assets of Mumia's sugar company are supported. In Samburu County, a section of elders from Samburu community are now calling for the implementation of the anti-FGM laws to save girls from their retrogressive practice. The elders who all along have been harsh to those opposed to the practice have changed their tune following persistent campaign by anti-FGM crusaders in the area. <laughs> Moving on, breast cancer survivors from the former Rift Valley province who have undergone surgery are expected to benefit from free breast prosthesis from Meru Hospice under Mercy Steps Cancer Program. The philanthropic gesture coincides with the International Cancer Survivors Day which is celebrated every second day of June. And we intend to provide breast prosthesis to all ladies who have had mastectomy due to cancer. Elsewhere, Christians going for a pilgrimage to Uganda to commemorate the Namgongo martyrs want the government to enhance security along the Northern Corridor. They say in future, the Kenyan government should even support them by giving transport to hundreds of people trekking to the shrine. Government should try to support uh, the pilgrimage, the pilgrims, that is uh, by giving them security, traffic on the road. Uh, so that uh, we can avoid uh, the incidents which happened. Finally, the Kenya Institute for the Blind has urged the government to construct hostels to accommodate the visual impaired students who reside outside the institution. The pleas were made during the Institute's 50 years commemoration. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Suleiman Yeri.